These are some quick and easy ways to boost FPS on any type of PC. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into settings. Then first of all, we're going to go into system. And then you want to go down to notifications and turn these off unless you use them. But to most people, it's just annoying. And then you want to go down to power and sleep and then click on additional power settings. And it should take you to this page and you need to click on the high performance option or some people may have an ultimate performance option. And if you do, you need to click on that. Then you can go to storage, make sure storage sensors on as it deletes temporary files that may just clog up your PC basically. And also you can go to the temporary files right here. Okay, so I'd recommend you delete the following. Windows Update Cleanup, Recycle Bin, Microsoft Defender Antivirus, and Windows Error Reports. And make sure you do not delete the shader cache as it actually tends to speed up load times. Okay, now you want to go back and then head over to Apps. Then you want to go to Startup. So now you want to turn pretty much all of these off and all of these apps will open as soon as you boot up your PC and make sure you turn any app off that you don't use on startup and also if you go down to your taskbar and click the up arrow you can see all the apps that are running in the background right now and for any that you're not using you can just right click and hit exit then you want to go back to the home page and then you want to go on gaming and you want to turn Xbox game bar off and go to game mode and make sure game mode is enabled then going back to home again you want to go on update and security check for a windows update as you can see i've got an update right now so i'm going to install and download it okay so once you've done that it should say restart required but don't do it just yet we'll do it at the end of the video and now what you want to do is go onto delivery optimization and make sure you turn allow downloads from other pcs off okay now what you want to do is you want to go to this search bar right here and type in graphic settings and it should pop up right here and then you want to turn this on and then when you go down here you can see that i've got like valorant.exe on like high performance and this actually tells my graphics card to put more power into running the game and how you do this is you hit browse you should be on this page right here you want to go to where your valorant is downloaded or you can type up here valorant.exe you can type in valorant.exe there and follow it through but all you got to do is go local disk program files you want to scroll down until you see riot games then hit valorant live and then the valorant application right here you want to do that and then options high performance save now you've done .exe you want to do the win64 shipping .exe and then you want to do the same thing again is hit browse should be on this screen already you want to hit shooter game binaries win64 and then the other application should be right here double click on it hit options high performance save also when you're on these graphics settings if you hit browse it should pop up with all the like Valorant applications and you want to go to properties. Make sure read only is off and then go compatibility. And make sure disable full screen optimizations is on and also change high DPI settings and make sure override high DPI scaling is ticked. And you can do this for both. So if you go back to live and go to Valorant itself, hit properties, make sure read only is off, compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings and make sure this one is ticked as well. And then that's it all for the Windows settings. You can close that off now. Then you want to hit the Windows key and type in NVIDIA control panel and it should pop up like this. You want to open it. Okay, so once this is open, you want to go to adjust image settings with preview. Okay, now you want to select use the advanced 3D image settings. Then you can just click just below it to manage 3d settings and then you need to copy all the settings on screen right now okay then you want to close that out and then go to your windows key again and tap in geoforce experience this should pop up and you want to go to drivers and check for updates obviously i've got a game ready driver available so i'm going to hit the express installation option and i'm going to follow this all the way through okay now that's done you can exit out and then you can hit the search bar again and tap in percent temp percent and it should come up with a huge folder out here and these are all your temp files which are just being stored for absolutely no reason you can just select them all hold shift and delete and delete all these items and if something like this pops up all you've got to do is just hit skip as them temporary files are actually being used and all the other ones wasn't so these are everything i'm just using right now Okay, so now I'm going to boot into Valorant and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to boost your FPS. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go into the graphic settings and make sure your settings look something like this. These settings are the best for FPS, however, these are my preferred settings. If your FPS is still bad in game while running 1080p, 
you can actually lower your resolution down to something like 1280 by 1024 and this lowers the resolution of your game so it makes it easier for your computer to get more FPS. And yeah, your game would look something like this. I have a full tutorial on it on my YouTube channel that you guys can check out after and it covers everything on how to get this stretch resolution. It's really good for FPS and I provide more information in that video, so please check that out. Also, you can cap your FPS at 60 when in the menus and cap it even at 30 in the background. And I also have my in-game FPS capped at 180. And as you can see, if I turn this off, I literally get like 190, 170, almost 200 if I look at the sky, uh, but I get around 200 FPS just in game. So having it at 180 will mean I get hardly no FPS drops, so my game's smooth all the time. So what you guys can do is you can uncap your FPS, just walk around and see what your FPS is at and then do it like 20 to 30 FPS lower of what you're currently getting. And also for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, I just leave it on on, but you guys can also try on plus boost, but I don't I don't really see a difference. I just leave it on on. Okay, just before you restart your PC, if you could please drop a like on the video, it'd be much appreciated. If not, it's been your boy critical. Peace out.